Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Well, it's my pleasure to be here. You know, the last time I was supposed to be on the program, you know, I wasn't feeling a hundred, you know. Um, but give God thanks and praise, you know. We're here today. So we say blessings to each and everyone that's joining us now on the live, you know. Yes, yes. People on the show the live, you know, because you don't know where I got chat about other things and some other things. How you mean? How you mean? You already know. Yeah. And there's so many... Um, Mr. G, them girl and color TV. Yeah, Craig P, but that was say Yes, how you mean? <laughs> so, uh, there's so much. I, I, I refer to you as, as the P. Diddy of, of not just Jamaica, but the Caribbean. And I think there's so much people don't know because I feel like you're a, a very low-key person. There's not a flashy element about you. There's not a, like, see me here element about you. You're doing the work and sort of the background. Um, and the reason I made that reference is because I feel like your hands are in so many different things and has been for so many years. So I want to know what your start was like and how you got involved in producing, writing, there's investing, there's so much, just the background of the music. How did that begin for you? Well, um, I started off. At a very early, early age, you know, I started off while I was in school. You know, I see my virgin online and just jump on the white. You can tell you from St. Catherine days, we used to always love music. So, like, lunchtime, we would be beating the desk. You know, I said, there's a place named Pascal Hall because I, 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 I attended St. Catherine High. You know, and um, we used to perform at the concerts in Pascal Hall. You know, I, I've done all the barbecues, the fets, all of them things there uh, um, in a Kingston, Portmore. You know, I say, I, um, I used to lift up sound boxes for a sound named Crystal. You know, and that used to give me the opportunity to go all over Jamaica. And when we go all over Jamaica, we, we, um, we would DJ when the dance them out for finish. So that would help me to harness my craft as an artist, you know. And um, there's a song also called Universal Songs that used to be based in Marvali, Bottom Marvali, where I used to exercise on that song and enhance my craft. You know, so um, that's the early part. And I must say, my, I have a cousin called Russian, Laurel. is not here with us in the living again, you know, but he was a big influence also in my career coming up because he was the one that I saw um, buying the vinyl records, and he used to flip over, flip it over because his mother, my auntie Pauline, she bought a component set. And he used to just buy the records, the 45 them, and flip them over and started DJing on the versions. So I was, I was taken up with how wicked he used to DJ. You know, I said, he used to DJ so wicked. And write lyrics and I said to him, yo, how oh, you get for write them then? He might explain to me and them things. There. So that was like one of the early parts where I get to start to write the actual rhythms. You know, I said before I start to even go out in, a, in a the public, right in the house of jungle, Havana. You know, I said, um, some of my early influences like Papa San, Luton wow. and Stitchy, Admiral Bailey, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was inspired also by the late, great Risco Benji, because all people going like them don't remember him or game props. When we were little, little boys, Risco Benji was a big star, a big monster star. You know what I'm saying? And then, Shabba Abimazim Likasun. You know me I say? We have to big up 
artists who influenced me as well, like Little Lenny. Because when Little Lenny was in school and bus with, she, she, she of the healthy body. She, she, she of the good in a but You know what I mean? You no, know, a lot of people don't know that. You know, yeah, he was he was attending um, KC. And to me, it was mind bustling to see this school youth come and mash up the place. Can I remember when Little Lenny bust in a man? Little Lenny bust and tear down the place in a man. You know me, I say, and and you know Risco Benji, he have the passport for the visa. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I say so. Yo, music nice, music nice. We are for us, we are for us. Yeah, so we we are above earth and we there give God thanks and praise. You know, yeah, man. Yes, yes, all the time, all the time. What would you say? You so that was your so you had a lot of good mentors, people who influence you in that direction. Mm -hmm. What was the first project that catapulted you into becoming goofy? Well, if, 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 if you followed my career or anybody who has followed my career throughout the years, I've had different, different things that put me different, different places in music. You know what I'm saying? Um, I used to name Sample Kid before Goofy. And when I was called Sample Kid, me the thing say me I go bust with that song when me do name No Kill Him. You know what I said? And um, cause that song was a monster song in a Kingston 20. You know what I said? Big up um, Bus Out Records, Chris Murdit and Squidly Cole. They are the ones that put up my first 45, 1991. Wow. It was on the rhythm where Shabba they have bought. I love Paul of the gun them. But yes. yeah, they had a cut off that rhythm. They made a cut off that rhythm. You know, and, and, and I, 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 I got the opportunity to record and that song was a big song for me. Um, <clears throat> um, after that, I linked up with Weepo from Stone Love. You know, I was producing for Weepo for his label, you know, um, and that's, that's how the goofy laugh thing chipped out because I, I, I record, you, you remember this rhythm name, Cardarai rhythm? Yes. Well, Cardarai rhythm, I sat down with, um, Computer Paul and designed that rhythm for Stone Love. Wow. Yeah. Um, and now I didn't know that. I'm not going to even sit here and pretend that I knew that. I'm not. I did not know that. Yeah, man. I will if I will if I think. But I used to produce for Weepo um, for Stone Love. You know, I say, you know, Power the Boss. He might go pay the musician, them and so forth and thing. But um, I was the person behind the scenes, voicing up the artist, them and. And, and 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 helping with the rhythms to help design certain rhythms. Computer Paul will tell you, Culture Lee will tell you, who was the engineer around by Black Scarpia Studio. You know me I say all of the artists them like like the the, the Anthony B them and the, the Mega Band and the General B and the Ronet them the man them who did there and witnessed the history while it are going them will tell you, you know. Um but um so that is where the goofy laugh thing kicked out. When um, we Paul they put the goofy laugh in the cut it off half of my song, cause he actually didn't put up my song in the in the first batch of the rhythm. He just used them cut off the goofy laugh and put it on the version at the top of the version. And as simple as it sounds, we just have an intro. The intro helped to catapult me into becoming a name in the music industry. You know me I say so um give thanks to all of the strength demo we get from we post still you know me I say yes. yeah man yes. okay I'm and big up stone yeah big up stone love man because like yourself I think it's it's very um important that we recognize what's part of the makeup of this whole music culture and 
um, you know, sounds was a big part of Jamaica's music long before yeah. um, these things came out and, and, and created an opportunity for a lot of people like yourself. Um, yeah. So I think Big Up Stone Love and all the sounds, you know, Black Widow sounds, all these guys, um, Big Up Yourself. What would you say, you've had the opportunity to be in so many spaces with so many different artists and people and personalities. What would you say has been one of your most memorable um, work experiences as far as studio and artists is concerned? I can tell you one of my first most memorable because God has blessed me that I've had a lot of memorable encounters in music, yeah. you know, and he has blessed me that I have been able to do work with people who I saw as mega stars when I was younger and as time progressed, I had the chance to work with them, voice songs with them and hit with them, you know. Um, in, my, in my early, early, early days, my school days, I can tell you what, what blew my mind. As I said, I used to record up by um, Boss Out Studios with Chris Murdick them. So, you remember the big artist culture. Jaja, see them I come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I was at the studio one day, yeah? And when I was at the studio, culture was doing a whole heap of duck plates. So, I must say, sample. Them time, them in a name goof yet. My name Sample Kid. I must say, Sample, do one of them intro, yeah? And my go so boom and do the intro. After me do the intro, the man, because them time they ain't have thousand dollars, and ain't have five hundred dollars, and ain't have five thousand. You know what I say? So you have the hundred dollar them and them something there. Anyway, culture, give me a walk of money so. I say hold on for this. When the man say hold on for this, you know the man I do dub plate, dub plate, dub plate, dub plate. So after the session done now and uh, everything, hear me now, I go to him and say, I said, Dada, remember say you give me the money for whole lamp and you know. And he must say, No nah, man, I hear money that man. And I go like to myself, I say, me say, you sure? <laughs> Can me never see them kind of money there yet? <laughs> when I say the Kyle big in you know, a man. Just picture a Kyle and be a hundred dollar. <laughs> be a hundred. Listen, I go so boom. I'm going to the bathroom. Because I don't know how to use the bathroom. I have to find out. I me, have me to find out where to go count this money. Here. So I say, I go to the bathroom. Soon I go to the bathroom, I go so. I count, I count, I count, I count, I count, I count. When my sister had five thousand dollars, the man gave me. Me I said, Jesus, me <laughs> said some music nice. <laughs> Listen, this when me I talk about you know, it's like around thirty years ago, you know. So picture. So five thousand dollars in a them time, yeah. Five thousand dollars, and you was how old? About how old? You was what nineteen? Um. You know, I remember exactly. Oh, no, man. But a no. big money, that's enough. Back then, $5,000, that's a big money, you know. Yes, sir. $5,000 for me, like it could have buy Jamaica to it now. <laughs> <laughs> big up, just Chris, just check in. Yeah. I'm happy to be up, my engineer, and I'm the same fan line. Big up, my engineer, stretch. Me and my yes, man. Big up, Mr. Stretch. Yes, big up, Mr. Stretch. Support. So my virgin Christopher Martin just What's up, Chris day. Martin? Big up yourself, Ratin. Yeah. I'm big yeah, up. Yeah, man, big up right. yourself. Yeah, life on him. I just had to talk about my, my, my cousin. We inspire me to do the music. I'm son that near Manny Fresh, you know. People you can go follow Manny Fresh. I just see him check in. Big up ZJ Milo. Tina. Yeah, Craig Cream, Rumbar, the whole click click family. Yeah, but as me I said, when me get the thousand that the five thousand dollar now. I mean, I said, I saw music nice. So, you know, I said, this I make me put in extra work in a music right here now. Yes. You know what I mean? I said, and, and as I said, I have never forgotten that. 
I'm always ensure say me look out for the younger artists them, the younger engineers, musicians, and everything because I remember how influential the bigger artists were to me when I was coming up. So I'm not take nothing for granted. Cause let me tell you something. You know, more time you can feel like you want to give up, you know. And just somebody either say one thing to you, or you in a one position we all hungry and beat you, and a man just shot you a grand. And you just feel like, say, yo, you get back all of the drive and all of the power. So that's why I always look out for the younger talent them. You know what I say? Always. Yeah, man. So, okay. So the culture now was my first experience as one of my most memorable experience. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, Sanchez. Me did grow among Sanchez at Brook Valley. Because I did there between Sherlock and Brook Valley. And when me was a boom now, Sanchez is this big monster star, you know, from me a little, little youth in a man. Because Sanchez, hey, you say Sanchez and Wayne Wonder, they have a cream name Forever Young. Yes. People, you can go look for that cream there. Forever yes. Young cream. You know what I say? So when I had the opportunity to voice a song with Sanchez, that was like a dream come true. You know what I say? And then... I come have the opportunity because my mommy and Sanchez get a number one worldwide, you know. Every tick of the clock, my girl yes. whining non-stop. You know what I say? And that is good and great that even, all right, I have three songs coming out with Wayne Wonder. And Wayne is one of my idols in music. When I idolize and say, you see them man, yeah? them man, yeah? them humble, them talented and them lyrical and him can really sing, sing, sing. You know me I say? So when we get the opportunity to link up with people like that too, you know me I say? It, it's amazing to me that the, the camaraderie of, of work and upliftment and opening doors um, and, and the key is given to people like yourself. Um, and earlier I referred to you as the P. Diddy. And, and, and so that's the closest reference that I could find because I, I just think that in you, there's so much musical information and so many doors that have opened because of you. And when we look at things like the click, click rhythm today, yeah. but people like myself look yeah. at rhythms like, you know, past rhythms that you've created yeah. and see that today that you've brought about music in a way of a gathering presently, right? Yeah. Today, like what's happening today. Yeah. For me, that's a huge thing. And to see Christopher Martin, Wayne Wanda, Beanie Man, these people that can still realize that this is what we need to do to continue um, this big thing, this music thing. This is gigantic, you know, in, in the way that you present it is amazing to me. Um, I cannot get over the magnitude of how large this feels to me because I feel like for a while we were losing ourselves in what's happening in the music industry because yeah. we're so concerned about, you know, oh, they're singing about killing and they're saying, and this is what's causing this rift and the, all these killings and things like that. Mm -hmm. But to see it come about in the way that it's come about and it's beautiful and it's bright is absolutely amazing. You, you know, with this project, yeah? This project, Click Click Rhythm, it's not only myself, it's me and my family, Craig Cream, yeah? From Craig Cream Entertainment that mm -hmm. we, we decided to do this project, yeah? And let me tell you, what is a very fulfilling feeling about this entire thing is to see the unification of a lot of artists. Artists that has been here for at least three decades, two decades, three and a half decades, because you know um, Wayne Wanda bus from must 1987, 88 right there. You know me I say? Bean has been around the game a long, long, long time, because me and being apart from the two where we were teenagers, you know me I say, to, to new people like a uh, banging, the youth name exclusive, you know, in this thing, the song about scammer them there, 
and thing and you know me I say to a new a new and a, a new youth with about like Christopher Martin same way. You know me I say Chris was supposed to do at least what ten years, eleven ten years in the business because I think at two thousand and nine him get that big birthday. And no two thousand I think two thousand and eleven him get him get yeah two thousand and eleven him get um the song You know, I actually called Chris, you know, when I heard that song for the first time, and I me say, yo, this song blew my heavens. You know me I say, because I like your things yeah. where, where people think outside of the box, where me I say, yo, me should have come up with a vibe there, you know me I say? Because that vibe is so out of the box. Me like think about out of the box. Uh-oh.